All right, so today we are going to talk about what Facebook's rebrand means for marketers. So Facebook has just rebranded to, well, they're going to call themselves Meta. And so what does that mean in the first place? So let's go ahead and take a look at this article from Hypebeast. And we can see that, um, well, they now have renamed themselves to Meta. Okay, so we can see that over here, right? Which reflects its new focus on building out the metaverse. So first we have to define what the metaverse is. And when you think about the metaverse, the easiest way to think about this is if you've seen the movie Ready Player One, if maybe you've seen or you read the book uh, Snow Crash, and if you think about early in the 90s or so, there was a game called Second Life. And if you're into crypto right now, there's Decentraland, right? And so these, the metaverse is really like a, a digital world where you can interact with people, you can hang out, and uh, Fortnite, be an, Fortnite might be an example of this. The my, To my gaming days, what really sticks out to me is being able to hang out in World of Warcraft or games like EverQuest, so MMORPGs. But these are digital worlds where people can hang out. And I mean, to me, this is this is normal, right? Because I've interacted in those worlds in the past. And uh, a lot of people that have played games, um, they understand kind of what this is all about. And so again, check out the book Ready Player One or watch the movie at least, then you'll get a better sense of what that means. But the fact that a one of the biggest companies in the world is deciding to change their name to Meta, that's not to be taken lightly, right? And a publicly traded company, they've got WhatsApp, they've got Instagram, they've got Oculus. There's a reason they bought Oculus, right? It's, it's to try to break into this world a little more. So let's go a little deeper into this article over here. And um, we can see that they have, uh, so Mark Zuckerberg says, from now on, we're going to be metaverse first. Uh, and so the company has also announced a $150 million USD investment to train AR developers and said it planned to establish a professional curriculum program to teach creators how to build out the metaverse. So this is big. I mean, if they're going to take all the resources and focus on this, if you think about Facebook in 2010 or so, they knew that they had to focus all of their efforts on mobile. And Mark Zuckerberg said, told every single team, like, we got to be working on mobile, right? And that's how um, they made the transition from desktop to mobile for Facebook. And then that's even how they ended up with the Instagram acquisition as well, right? Uh, WhatsApp is also mobile first, right? So this is the second time that Mark Zuckerberg, or maybe the third time, desktop first, then mobile. Third time is we're going metaverse first. And so... This is basically, this reinforces the importance of Web3. So you think about Web1 is, you know, maybe in the 90s or so when the first, when the inter, most more people started using the internet. Web2 would be the big kind of companies. You know, you have kind of centralized companies like a Facebook, right? Or a uh, Google as an example. These are kind of the big powers. They kind of centralized all the attention and they have, um, for lack of a better word, they're, they're kind of toe boots, right? And, you know, they've done a lot of good for the world, but also at the same time, they've um, kind of stifled, I would say they've kind of stifled the creativity a little bit or kind of sucked up all the talent, right? So you you probably don't want to have too much power uh, centralized, you know, on these platforms. So if we come back to this article over here, um, we're going into Web3 now. Web3 is basically the world of, um, you know, we're talking about the metaverse, right? We're talking about NFTs. We're talking about uh, crypto, right? And when I talk about crypto, I'm not just, just, just talking about things from like a financial standpoint, like, you know, oh, how are you going to make a thousand X on your altcoins or like make money on Bitcoin or whatever. It's, we're talking about the underlying technology that's going to power this new internet, right? And so um, in the orange headlight over here, Facebook first announced its plan to build out the metaverse, a term used to describe virtual interactive spaces in the digital world last month. As part of its plan, the company pledged a two-year 50 million USD investment called XR Programs and Research Fund aimed at subsidizing global research and program partners. So again, the name of the game when you're looking at building a business is you are looking to A, focus the business, and then B, what you're looking to do is find the best people. So the fact that they're looking to pledge money into uh, XR programs, AR research, and they're investing so much money into this, they understand that the world is going in this direction. The fact that Marvel and Disney have partnered up, have partnered up with, um, I believe the company's called Vive or Vivi uh, into uh, NFTs. And the fact that Adobe has adjusted Photoshop to include NFT creation in there, we're just gonna see the space continue to grow. And when I talk about NFTs, I'm kind of talking to talking about Web3, right? This is Web3 is going back into the, the decentralized world and um, 
you know, Facebook as a very large publicly traded company, even though they're a centralized company, they want to make sure that they're a part of the action, right? They want to be involved. And so if you look in the red highlight over here, it further explained that the metaverse doesn't refer to one single product built by one company, but rather a shared global space. So I think it's actually good for marketers and just business in general that Facebook is saying, hey, there's no one company that can own all of this, but we can help build this space. And they have the power to do this. They have the users to do this. They have the network effects to do this. And so I think they're going to help. They're going to definitely help pioneer this space or, or prove or uh, prove out the space and move it further. And, um, you know, other people are going to be able to benefit from it. And um, it might actually end up harming them long term. Um, but I think they're kind of hedging their bets a little bit too, right? Where if they decide to go completely centralized moving forward, they know they're gonna be left in the dust. So they maybe they're trying like a hybrid version of this where they can at least get some skin in the game and be involved somehow. And because they're helping build out this metaverse, they can get to invest in some of the coolest new metaverse tools or new metaverse, whatever's new that's being created, they, they'll, be kind of, they'll, they'll be able to get kind of first dibs right there, okay? Now, in the yellow highlight over here, on Monday, the company disclosed plans to spend about 10 billion USD investing in its branch that is working to develop the metaverse. So $10 billion is no small amount. It's no small, it's huge. If you're gonna rebrand a huge company, one of the biggest companies in the world, you're gonna pledge $10 billion towards it, and you're gonna invest in all these other initiatives, then they're basically saying, hey, we're all in on this stuff, okay? And what that means for you as a business person or a marketer, what this especially means for marketing is, is thinking about, okay, well, if the attention's gonna go to the metaverse, how are we gonna go about in terms of fostering this attention, right? Are we gonna be advertising in the, in a digital world, right? How are we going to be getting attention here? So I think it's really, it, we're still in the very early days right now. I don't even think we're in the first inning um, or maybe just like a preview to the first inning right now, right? And this means that if all these large companies in the world are putting their, their eggs into this and they're, they're really investing heavily, it's time to start doing research on this stuff. It's time to start doing studying. It's time to start hanging out on Twitter more, hanging out in Twitter spaces. It's time to start hanging out in Discord. It's time to start talking to people that really understand the space and try to make sure that you're, you're not, you're not going to be left in the dust, right? And, you know, wherever attention goes, marketers tend to go. And so, the main thing that you can be doing right now with this stuff is again, studying it. And then once the stuff comes out, you jump on top of it. I'll, I'll tell you what we're doing right now, at least on the agency side is we're thinking, okay, you know, how can we get more involved in this space? We're creating our own NFT project right now just to, you know, get some chops, get some experience in that space. How can we get more involved in terms of working with these um, web three type of companies, right? And um, metaverse is part of web three and uh, NFTs are part of Web3, crypto is part of Web3. Um, so study this space, right? And then, you know, how can you get involved with trying to understand what's going on? And maybe you can try to log into Decentraland a little bit, see what's going on there. Because people are, they're selling real estate in that digital world right now, and you're able to display your art in that world. Um, how are people interacting? How is the attention being divided in that space right now? How are people, um, you know, building communities for the metaverse right now. You know, maybe people are hanging out in, in Discord, right? So the main thing that you can be doing right now is trying to make sure that you're not gonna be left in the dust by studying and also just being very open-minded, being very curious and not trying to push back when it's clear that this type of technology is inevitable, right? That's what this announcement really means in terms of how it's going to affect you, right? And um, yeah, I mean, there's no, hey, how can, how, how, there's no, not a lot of the ad technologies right now have been developed, so it's on you to jump ahead of the curve, right? I, I, I was even talking to a, a dev shop the other day that's really involved in kind of the, the NFT space, and we were just talking about building analytics for people in this world, <clears throat> building out like an analytic solution for uh, for Web3 in general, and maybe something for um, in, 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 the, in the metaverse, right? So nothing has been built right now. This is all very, um, or not a lot has been built right now. We shouldn't say nothing has been built, but that's a big opportunity for you to step in as a business person or a marketer. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe and the bell button, and we will catch you later.